Hi everyone, my name is Kyle Jamison and I'm a project engineer intern for Granite Construction and this is my journey so far. We started the first week by visiting different projects such as the Belterres Bridge, the 166, and the Arvin. During this time, we got to see how Granite Construction operates all the way from pulling the rock out of the ground at the Arvin plant to paving it back and testing core samples to ensure that our quality is up to spec. Once we went to the operational side of the Arvin plant, we were able to see how the rock was shifted, sorted, and separated into each individual pile, and then sold with accuracy by diameter. My first assignment is up in Lone Pine, California, right next to Mount Whitney, where we got to rip up and repave 2.8 miles of road on highways 395 and 136. This project has been able to set my foundation for all the different technical skills, such as traffic brakes where we had to slow down traffic when our equipment needed to flip onto the other side of the road. And here I'm using the GPS to mark out the double yellow, skip, and fog line for the project and taking data points every 25 feet to build the alignment so that the stripers can paint the lines exactly where they were before we started the project. And now moving on to the grinding, where we initially took two tenths off of the entire road surface, and then we followed up by taking out 42 hundredths in the number two lanes. We then had to paint temporary lines onto the road so that the traffic knew where to drive because the previous lines have been grinded off. And the two last steps before paving was to cut up the areas around the utilities so we could lower them and to spread tack oil onto the freshly grinded up surface. So once we started paving, we initially laid the 42 hundredths that we took out of the number two lanes and then we finished by paving two tents over the entire project to bring it back to finished surface. After we got done paving, we then shoulder back the road, which is basically three feet of base off of the asphalt line so that if a car veered off, they wouldn't have a tendency to overcorrect back onto the road. Once this was done, I set up the IP truck or inertial profiler in order to check the smoothness of the road. The truck uses lasers, accelerometers, and sensors to log data on a graph of IRI or MRI versus station. The IRI or International Roughness Index shows how big and noticeable bumps are at that specific location. Per Caltrans specs, the max IRI allowed is a 160. So as you can see, we're coming up on a red line that shoots over the max allowed IRI, which means we're gonna have to go back and grind it out. Another Caltrans spec is MRI, or Mean Roughness Index. This takes the mean from the IRI for a 528 foot section and displays it on a graph versus station. The max allowed MRI is 60 in the number two lanes and 75 in the number one lanes. This spec was the most challenging one to reach but after a thorough analysis and some phone calls, Adam and myself figured it out. Once the bumps were grinded out, we sprayed tack oil over them to seal the exposed asphalt. The last couple steps to a paving job is for the stripers to lay out their markings by setting two nails in the ground connected by a string to ensure a straight line and then follow up by striping. The last step is to grind the rumble strips and then fog seal them, which is scheduled for tomorrow the 26th. Arguably one of the most important parts of a project is to keep cost to a minimum. In this case, we initially had the belly dumps hauling grindings up to Bishop, which is a two hour round trip. Adam was able to coordinate with a guy from the county that wanted the grindings for a road and it was only a 30 minute round trip, benefiting both of us. But as we all know, projects don't always go as planned. So when you have a wide load coming through knocking over all the cones, a mysterious pipe to be abandoned, or a simple change order for signs to be added, we have to always be prepared to adapt to different situations. So thank you all for watching, and I'll now be taking any questions you guys have.